Fire emergencies can happen anytime, anywhere. And knowing how to use the right fire extinguisher could mean the difference between a small incident and a full-blown disaster. But did you know there are different types of fire extinguishers for different kinds of fires? In this video, we'll break down the main types, their uses and how to identify them so you're always prepared. Let's get started. Before we dive into extinguishers, let's quickly talk about fire classes. Fires are categorized based on what's burning and each type requires a different approach. Class A fires involve everyday materials like wood, paper and cloth, things you'd find in a typical house fire. Then we have class B, which covers flammable liquids like gasoline, oil or paint. These fires spread fast and can be extremely dangerous. Class C fires involve electrical equipment, think wiring, appliances or fuse boxes. Water is a big no here because it conducts electricity. Next, class D fires are rare but intense. They involve combustible metals like magnesium or sodium, often found in industrial settings. Finally, class K fires are specific to kitchens where cooking oils and fats can ignite. Knowing these classes is key because each extinguisher is designed for specific fire types. Using the wrong one can be disastrous. Let's start with the most basic type, the water extinguisher. You'll recognize it by its solid red label. This extinguisher works by cooling the fire, making it perfect for class A fires, things like wood, paper or cloth. Picture a campfire getting out of control. This would be the right tool. But here's the critical part. Never use it on electrical fires or flammable liquids. Why? Because water conducts electricity, so you could get electrocuted. And if you spray water on a gasoline fire, it will spread the flames instead of putting them out. Also, avoid using it on metal fires. It won't work and could even cause a violent reaction. So, remember, water extinguishers are great for ordinary fires, but that's it. Next, we have foam extinguishers marked by their cream-colored label. These are a step up from water extinguishers because they can handle both class A and class B fires, meaning they work on ordinary materials and flammable liquids like petrol or paint. The foam smothers the fire, cutting off its oxygen supply while also cooling the fuel. This makes it great for things like a fuel spill fire in a garage. But here's the catch. Foam is still mostly water-based, so don't use it on electrical fires. And while it might seem like it could work on a kitchen fire, it's not designed for cooking oils. That's what wet chemical extinguishers are for. So foam is versatile but still has its limits. Now, let's talk about CO2 extinguishers, the ones with the black label. These are a favorite for offices and labs because they are perfect for electrical fires. Unlike water or foam, CO2 doesn't conduct electricity, making it safe for things like computers, wiring or machinery. It works by displacing oxygen, effectively suffocating the fire. Another big plus, it leaves no residue, so there's no messy cleanup. But here's the downside. It's not great for ordinary fires like wood or paper. Why? Because while it removes oxygen, it doesn't cool the material enough, meaning the fire could reignite once the CO2 dissipates. So remember, black label for electrical and liquid fires only. If you need a one size fits most extinguisher that dry powder type marked with a blue label is your best bet. This is the most versatile extinguisher because it works on class A, B, C and even metal fires class D. It uses a chemical powder that interrupts the fire's chemical reaction making it super effective. Imagine a workshop with different fire risks. This extinguisher could handle almost all of them. But there's a big warning. Don't use it in small enclosed spaces. The powder creates a thick cloud that reduces visibility and can be dangerous to breathe in. Also, it makes a huge mess, so it's not ideal for homes or offices unless absolutely necessary. But for industrial settings, it's a lifesaver. Finally, we have the wet chemical extinguisher, recognizable by its bright yellow label. This one is specialized for class K fires, meaning kitchen fires involving cooking oils and fats. If you've ever seen a deep fryer catch fire, this is the extinguisher you'd want. It works in two ways. First, it cools the burning oil and second, it creates a soap-like barrier that prevents reignition. But here's the key, never use it on anything else. It's not designed for electrical fires, liquids or ordinary combustibles. So, unless you're dealing with a kitchen fire, leave this one in its designated spot. Now that you know the types, here's how to use one effectively. Remember the pass method. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, and sweep from side to side. 
and always ensure you have a clear escape route. Safety first. So there you have it, the essential guide to fire extinguishers. Let's do a quick recap. For ordinary fires like wood or paper, use water or foam. For flammable liquids, foam or CO2. Electrical fires, CO2 or dry powder. Metal fires, only dry powder. And for kitchen fires, wet chemical is your best friend. Always check the label before use and remember, using the wrong extinguisher can be just as dangerous as the fire itself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It really supports the channel. Share it with friends, family or co-workers because this is knowledge everyone should have. And of course, subscribe for more life-saving tips. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.